Welcome to Fridge Camp. I'm Barry. This has been We Are the Better Half of Sorted Food. Today we are on a quest for some of London's best pasta. And as ever, if you're enjoying the video, give it a like. And don't forget to comment downstairs. We read everything. Enjoy. Bon appetito. We think London has some of the best food in the world. And today we're going to find the best pasta London has to offer. We each have a different budget and have picked a place we think pairs with the budget. I've got £40 to spend. I've got 20 I've got 10 and we're going to my choice first. So the place that I've picked is Padella. We're right next to Borough Market. And it's kind of the Auntie James restaurant because I'm really picky and I don't like queuing and it's no reservations so we're going to queue for a while. It's also super cheap. I've had a look at the menu and it's like four to eight quid for a pasta course. What I'm looking forward to is that it's going to be great food because I've only heard good things. Barry absolutely loves Italian food, literally can't get enough of it and you'll notice he gets quite touchy-feely when we start talking about pasta. He's already cuddled up to your shoulder and we haven't even got in yet. It's what's the pasta like here? <laughs> We're in! We're going inside! I think we're eating our pasta on the toilet. <laughs> I have a £10 budget. Almost everything on the menu is under £10. The problem is I kind of want two dishes. PC Casio e Pepe? So that dish costs £6.50, which is under budget. And I really want some gnocchi, which is £4, which is ridiculously cheap. No, you're not allowed it. You're not allowed it. You can't afford it. You've got £10 budget. Yeah, but I've got 50p right here. Mike, please. Please. It's creamy, it's salty, it's so well balanced. The most important thing is that fresh pasta is absorbed in all of those flavours. See, I think this is what pasta should be like. It had all the cheese and all the pepper. It's just proper comforting. I love it. In every Italian restaurant, it's an insult if you're not licking the plate as well. Should we just well, actually, it? like, yeah, we'll thumb it. Just, just, just thumb it, just thumb it. I'm not sure. Oh, six quid, that is a hell of a benchmark to set. Next up, my choice. So I'm looking at the higher end of pasta in London, surrounded by lavish hotels, boutique shops, place in the corner even sells caviar to Franco's for awesome pasta. Um, do you reckon they let Riff Raff in? I think James might have to leave his Converse shoes at the door. <laughs> this guy ain't getting in. What are you talking about? Turns out we were right. Plus, I know this place is posh because there's a man behind me smoking a cigar. It's a very attractive menu and what you know is there's someone very competent behind it because you can't write this up unless you know exactly what you're doing. Oh, no. I'm just going to go and see if Barry. I can find myself a little treat. Barry is <laughs> in the shop opposite us. He is walking around it with his arms behind his back like an absolute What a knob. Give a spare 700 pounds for a cane. <laughs> for a cane. For a cane. Okay, dig in. Just a fairly short, thick pasta. The pasta is like perfectly al dente. A bit of incredibly fatty wild boar in the best way possible. It just melted in your mouth. It's bloody good pasta, isn't it really? Can't knock that. I feel like this is the kind of restaurant that you can't lick the plates. However, I absolutely would. That was phenomenal. Delicious, melt in the mouth and great pasta. Right, two down, one to go. I've got just the place. I'm taking the guys to Emilia's in St Catherine's Dock. It's a little hidden gem in East London and I reckon this is going to be perfect for my 20 quid budget. 
kitchen is literally like just yeah, behind you. Um, so you can see him cook everything, you can smell it all. Am I allowed in my £20 budget to also include a dessert? You've got 20 quid to spend. We are having a four hour slow cooked Bechamel Bolognese with Papadelli. And that's only £12. So I've got eight quid to spare, which means I'm getting pudding. That is super classic. Um, we haven't had a tomato sauce yet, so that's going to be interesting. Have you got some pasta with that parmesan? I mean, I like my parmesan, but parmesan is a lot of cheese. Let me, let me give it a mix up so you can see the food there. It looks, it looks fantastic. Boys, there's a bit of extra cheese on top, please dig in. Elegantly done. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Good try. What, James? What do they warn you about human pasta? You said it. This is the bowl you want to settle down to. This is comfort food. And I love the the addition of the bechamel because it's just super creamy. It's not too tomatoey. Okay. Let's talk money. For me, 12 quid for a portion of pasta is what you should be paying, I feel, for a good bowl of pasta. This is exceptional. I think it's really good value for what you get. James, your pasta dish was an absolute steal. Money. The quality of the food you got there was like untouchable for the cost. I really think if you're gonna go to Franco's, you're paying for the history. Yeah. You're paying for the postcode. I can't bolt pasta, but it's hard to justify spending that much on a pasta dish. All three places I've been to, the quality of pasta has been, un it's been absolutely fantastic. What else should we tackle in London? Comment down below, let us know. And don't forget, if you like this video, then like this video. What are you waiting for? They only brought one spoon. No, 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 <laughs> no, this is mine and my own. This is my 20 pounds, I'm gonna enjoy it. Turns out there is such a thing as a pasta baby. Yeah, seriously, I was waddling all the way home after that. Thankfully, we are done for today's video <laughs> and we're off to read all your comments down yeah, below. Yeah, that would be fascinating. You made that weird. Sorry. Click on the left if you missed our last video or click on the right video for one of our favourites.